I'm sure Lacoste is molding right now, just looking at this draft. Last pick, Lena, again here. Position five, Mag, starting with the boots of speed. They might actually swap things around, give a priority to Mag in this game so that he can get the mid lane. Chessy, he'll drop. Oh, we. Oh, Our man just pops a quick decay and TP's away. DH getting bashed up mid as Chessy's chased by we. One mango is ready here for Lina. He's trying to keep going for this, and the life strike array, no, it's the Dragon Slave, which secures him. Misery charges forward. GH, what's he got? Arctic Burn and nothing much else. So the trade will be there. And he's still got 500 HP. Maybe Pylite Dive can cut him off at the staircase as MC stuck around for creep wave too many. And Tangled Claws are there, and Zeus will secure the kill while top lane, RMN, dropping also. Misery and Zibek. Almost. I mean, he does not have a target. You can try to empower Spirit Breaker. Oh, top lane RMN. Chased under the tower. The rotation comes in. Lena with a Laguna Blade just zaps Zibbe down, and Misery can get away from this. There's a Light Strike Ray being held. He tries the charge, but the stun hits. Lands the stun. Wee, beautifully done. First rotation gets two kills. Any of that damage coming in, as Misery has made the long charge from top down to bot. And MC Centaur forced to stomp. He's still Pilot. five. Pilot Dice still Maybe trying to stick around here and has allowed Chessy to come in to gather up the kill. They know Lone Drew is pretty much the win condition here for five men, so they're going to gather up around him. Light Strike Array, Laguna Blade, everything you've got. Think about pressuring the tier one bottom as Anti Mage top. Charged up, there's the bash. Getting in with the stuns, but he blinks back. He looks perfectly fine. We with another rotation. We just moving from lane to lane, finding the stun and misery. He's just about done. RMN has to retreat as the skewer blocks the advance, but Chessy. RMN's undying deep in behind it. He lies. All the way under that tier. What fun. Forced to move in here for a kill on the pause five. You have Venomancer who's farming nicely. And four points in Plague Wards. Earth Curse use. Wee's coming in. He's going to be able to get the Dragon Slave and just a couple of right clicks. Light Strike Array is there to secure the kill. That yeah, would be a great pickup for him. He will send mid -range. Mid -range. Yeah, they stopped the charge coming in and now the Winter's Curse. Chesty. But they've got the Nether Strike. We call them Brace Comes, but the magic Dyer's damage is overwhelming. Now the Untying's on the run as the Stampede ends and. Lone Druid sends his bear four off a couple of hits. In comes Misery as well with the charge in. RMN's about to drop and so will GH. Five men starting to run over. That's Misery. Just going to go for, you know, casual blade mail. Giving much more of that net worth as Ace is just demolished by his own bear. One Winter's Curse and he dies. Trying to send it forward as the Yule's up will stop any skewer RP play. The Light Strike Array in onto Pilot Eye and he's gone. Now Ace trying to get into true form. Dodging out with a Savage Roar. Zibbit gets a good ulti down as V is forced to turn and run. But Ace is losing his life slowly but surely the AM stops his TP. Glimmer capable by both space but Zibbit is also trapped in behind the tier too. I really want to know who that caster is as well. <laughs> when he said some caster called him cheap, I'm thinking what? Son of God's Wrath. Oh, so get a kill on GH. Enigma, they were grouping up down bottom. Soul Rip there. Keeps RMN a little healthier. But the charge arrives under my control. RMN is dropping very low. In comes the rest of five men. And they cleared up a double kill for Chessy. Book supports down and the no strikes there. My control just... Radiance middle tower is under attack. is lurking. Blinking, stunning, killing, Lone Druid, Yule's up into the air now, but look at Wee, he's dying! Mind Control's arrived with a blink stop, but the backstab comes in, the Nether Strike. Looks to be trying to stun up Miracle as that Spirit Breaker just won the one the AM. AM's not winning that fight, the great RP comes in from Pylite Dive, he empowered Spirit Breaker! That's where the damage is going to come from, now RMN is backstabbed by Zibbe. Ace is still making his escape. Oh, look at this, Pylite Dive has blink and RP. Just a recipe away from refresher. Two alties, two nimbus, and then buy. They found mind control, hey? Clumsy net. Can they trap him inside the nimbus? They don't even need to. RMN is charged. Flying has nowhere to go. You can't hide in your own forest. Zeus is being eyed up now by Nigma, though. Chessy, shown on the map. Stunned as mind control makes his move. Got clogged in the map. Stampeding forward, but missing the Light Strike Array. Chessy, though, doesn't really have a way to escape. Here, that there's three or so heroes up here, and they are charging in towards RMN. 
He is a bigger target. Blinking away, Alina's out. And RMN is just going to be left as a sacrifice here. Trails and crumbs. Enter me. Hiding in the trees. Mind control and GA trying to blink away from misery. As that draws forward, keeping eyes on the target and center. He's going to get slowed down and just damaged over time, little by little, by the Venomats around this. I feel like Nigma. Abyssal Blade. More to take a fight. Mind control. Oh, is he gonna get out of here? Thunder God's Wrath, not enough, but the second Nimbus. The refresher orb shown off. Now our man has walked into the middle of this disgusting fight. Throws the tombstone down, that's gonna be free gold. Spreading wide. Highlight die, jump in. Anti Mage makes that first move, but Pilot Dying has the Golden Cave to save him, and the charge arriving. Misery's in with a clumsy net on the AM. They book the blade, catches GH, Wyvern's down. Scoring a bash on AM in a crucial situation because of the double hit. Gonna be huge. is gone. And there's the jump. Bet. Trying to bring it down, but it's tankish. Doesn't have, doesn't have any mana left. Dying. But it's gonna rip through the barracks. Hot knife through Butterless. Big old teddy bear. RMN pops his old team with the guns or something goes round. The charge falls as well. Towards GH and they blow up. No buyback on the Winter Wyvern, so no Winter's Curse. And dying by back and Mind Control blinks in. Misery stomped up and he's so tanky. 3,000 HP on this Spirit Break with the Glimmer Cave and a Solar Crest on him. Five men are running away with this game now. I don't see Nigma winning a team fight. There's no Wyvern. Like, there is no counterplay play once they decide to go in. And they need to be careful if he pops some to style right now, then he does not have a defense to do. Our men gone. And where is the anti-mage? He's in the fountain, he's hiding the cow. He doesn't want to fight. He jumps forward now, he's trying to get down the juice, but we are already gone. No yeah, buyback for Lina, and it's AM against the world. He's bashed up and cleared out, and that's got to be game over. A double kill for Ace, as five men sprint towards victory here in gate one. Ace look from Druid, breaking the losing streak and looking really good doing it. PG is strong. I love how they executed their lineup. They were getting so many kills from Chesty. Uh, they itemized quickly. Mask of Madness going for the death. So, like all the cheap items that comes online fast, uh, getting that Aghanim Scepter on Zeus, Venomancer with the earlier... Yeah, this is the lineup that should not be underestimated. Dive for Phoenix and Spectre. Top lane, Maledict with a stun, Misery, caught up in the cold snap, Zibet's trying to turn a bit of damage back onto Wii, but Misery's gonna pop here it looks like, one more touch, he's gonna try he's and tango, for tango. <laughs> there's no way he's... The problem is, they don't know that he's gonna hit 6 right now. Straight away, Phoenix gets caught out. Zoo down, and they do silence up the boy. The trade back is coming as long as they can get the final bit of damage with the time walk out. Miracle still gonna get slowed down. The battle is there. There's no escape from the this time around as RMN tries to get a bit of damage on the ace. The Maledict is gonna pop, and that's a get good trade. They know that this really slow, sluggy here. So we're probably just gonna be farming the on the side. And Zibe, I don't know if he needed the RP there, but it's gonna definitely signal us. Falls back to where it was where my control is, and even throws the pin coil in on him, so the stacks which have been made up by the Radiant team are contested by the Magnus to dive in with a supernova, but a skewer away and Pilo died. Duke around the trees and Jesse dying to death ward. The base shift means that the puck is gone. Now we turn around onto RMN, it is the lowly witch doctor. Which is traded forest he goes. Dyer's middle tower. Jesse gets a lot of damage in on the top of the mid lane. Forcing the glare. Radiant's bottom tower. Top the dive in. Misery gonna get death ward. The creator for Nigma. He's hiding under the top form one. Gets off on the MP and a cold snap onto Axe. And into the inverse he goes, but he's being dusted up. Radiant's middle tower. Take down the evoker. The reaction from Nigma is gonna come into a supernova. Pilot Eyes there, setting it up beautifully. The death ward's hold it down. But Jesse has jumped in aggressively. Death ward finally. Veno and your axe, and maybe even a phoenix here as Miracle's rotations arrived. Prince of Spawn, the mask of Venom, is going to try and bash away at the phoenix. Highlight on the foot. Someone decides to man up and boot these two things in front of him. Straight away, he gets dies. And in fact, it's five men who smoke to try and make this move. Oh, the horns, and they've started to the boy. He's in a lot of trouble here. Tone might come up in time, but no. The Death Ward's out, and focusing on the Spectre. He has Maledict on her. And an RP there from Mind Control, gonna drag it back with a skewer into the midst of the Your Venomancer said, like, Spirit Vessel. Your Venomancer's gonna get up by the Void. A 
GH of a stolen Sunray burns through. Slimy Slugman. Miracle oh. trying to life steal himself up through the poison oh. over in the gale as they find Axe. Should use that, try to grab a kill. Misery on the bottom. There's the bottom. They find the front jump. Misery's down to half HP, but they haunt the end. Quickly, snappily, decisive action. Misery knocks him down. He's in Boca from the side lane. He's level 11. Misery there with the Berserker's call to keep himself broken. Tanky. Get inside the pit and kill the rush. This is Desolate and Dispersion working on the illusions. Fuck my age. Yeah, and a supernova there as well. They focus the egg. Four heroes from Enigma. 11,000 net worth. He is at the top of the board, but they jump into mid. The Dream Call there on Witch Doctor. Missing out on Wii, though. What is this? Jumping in the family and both of them. They're definitely there, and there's nothing to stop it. Oh, man, just lets it go. Wild. I'm striking the pit. Times. Spectre will pick it up unless she gets passed like four times in a row. Oh, misery is that one to go up in the front line. They jump with a front well, just a waning rift and all the way. The cat's on jumping and the chrono's onto two. They do get a couple of good targets. Anyway, it's not a double hole, hell of a lot of the steward ever cast it out and Enigma just. Chrono up in a minute and a half, but I don't think he cares. Straight on to misery and go. It's a little misses, but the rift is going down. The whole goes down now as they dive on the Zibbe. Faceless Void trying to get wild on it, but the Dream Core holding back the Magnus and the Witch Doctor. And Spectre turns, facing off against this mind control. He's getting fueled up now, on top of his tracks, and no skewer, so he's forced to RP. Superman is there, so Miracle can't get into the fight, and the chase is on. Five minutes, they'll do it. They've got the damage, and they keep on going if they want. Spectre gets cold snapped, and the puck blinks away. But Venomat has come in. Is there a Gale forward onto Wii? That clumsy net at him, and he's gone! 30 seconds yeah, on the floor. Around 30 seconds to pick it up. The dive in, pile dive with the poison over onto Miracle. They know Aegis is gone, but with the meteor hammer not landing, they don't have a stun. Still trying to keep tabs on the void, but he still redges away from the clumsy net. The two-man coil, it arrives. It's good for the coil. Only they can jump in, and the coil, can they turn around? G8 trying to get it done, and five men struggling to finish anybody off. The supernova finally comes, and if Sun stops the Miracle void, he's dying and dropping all over the dungeon. It doesn't work! Somehow how he gets away with his life. We will finally fall as Miracle is going to life steal up on these creeps. GH, he's chased by Chessy. In comes the puck again. The blink to the high ground. GH is out of there and RMF trying to retreat as well. Dagger following Miracle as he still holds on the Chrono. The blink ball. Misery's in there. A great initiation now with this spin. Miracle makes it. Goes to work. He's going to kill us. The Chrono does nothing. Nigma falling apart! Oromen's about to die to me! Your 19,000 net worth faceless void is dead for 40 seconds! They skewer and snap the coil under the tier 4, the Spectre is stuck. But and they need everything! RP's there, she's so damn tanky, still has 11 one charges, and Manasar on 4th left to get away, Ace is dead! The streak is gone, and an outplay will keep Nigma in this game and in the tournament for now. All the deny. What? What is happening? Miracle working with MKB. We scouting out Pilot Die and Misery. Gets the tornado onto the Phoenix and the Sunray from GH. Burning through Pilot Die, but a supernova into the call. Blinking on GH now. The sun strolling from we will chip away a little bit of HP. But they've also caught the void. The supernova landed. The stun is there. The meteor hammer comes. And the control from the Dream Coil actually onto both of them. Invoker and Void. They're in a lot of trouble. They bash the heal. Titanic there and Miracle turns it around. Enigma finally. Having something go their way with a horn in from Ace. The Spectre arrives. It's the pause one. Joe now. But he's struggling to stick on targets. They need the all forward and some waning rips here. The Yule's up into the air. The Invoker sends Skyward. The Cyclone comes. And yeah. the jump forward again. Jesse doesn't have any more stuns. Disabling Wii is a very difficult task as the slowed down Spectre can't give chase any further. But they've got what it takes. It's the Sunray from Pyrite Dives. And finally. Miracle is going to do the pin. Oh, the Chrono, he does get it, but only onto Misery. That's not ideal. The Canic has some comers, but the Horn into the back. They're trying to focus down onto Invoker and the supporting cast. The RP lands on Ace. They start off to as well. The Maladigan's airport coming in toward the Spectre. They're focusing down Ace, but he's so damn tanky. The Maladigan is surely going to pop him now, though, as RMN trapped his life. Now back to Miracle, silver edging and running forward. Gets yours up. There's Magnus being pummeled by the Venom on the puck. We gonna get chased down as well, but no reveal to see that invoker. And Faceless Void comes back in again. Two for two. But Void being alive gives Nigma what feels like the advantage. 
without Spencer, what? they don't have enough damage to deal with the Faceless Void. Try and turn off the GH. They yules up the void and they're focusing the room all the way. Yeah, the drawn out. GH survives. Misery's down. Divay still standing ground trying to battle through, but GH taking so long to die. The gem is on the deck, and Puck will have no option. Yeah, the only defensive tool item that they have is Sunray and four staff from Venom. So that's pretty much it. No glory oh. caves. Oh, the yules up stops the call. Five men thought they could get in there. They're gonna haunt for it, Dream Coil, and they do move Wait, forward, trying to pick off. And with a the Corona there onto the puck, and the Clank Mechanicals are landing, but the Eon Disc gives Jesse safe and sound as the Supernova also utilized here. So Miracle's back in for round two. Big ulti's down for five men. Corona, not ready, of course, for the void, but he's got Aegis, he's got Satanic, he's just chasing into Misery. And now the RP! Microtrol lands it onto the two targets they want. Venom out is done for as well. Now Ace on the run out. Chessie trying to buy some time for Inspector. Slowed down a little bit by the Ice Wall on the way through. Tornado up as well. And he's in a one versus four. Ace, where are you going to go? You're being broken by the Silver Edge. Lifted up by G. Chessy trying to come in and they've stunned up Wing a lot of damage Jesus but he's the G's. Heels back up, almost full, but Ace is broken once more and Miracle. That's Miracle. That's Chronosphere once more. Zippy. Dangerous place to be, but they jump in with Chessy. Lifts up the puck. Can't finish him off and the Chronosphere oh, no. lands it on the two with the Cataclysm, Misery and Zippy. Both about to fall. They've cleared them both up and one doesn't have buyback. And about to return to the Spectre does dive very deep with the help of Supernova. Maybe they can swing this fight and they get the poison over out. But an RP Miracle has to run away. Can't fight into the RP. The Ice Wall will try and slow the advance here at five members. Miracle in. jumps back in. The Void wants to fight. Yules into the Major Hammer, landing and connecting onto the Void. But he's so tanky. Even with the poison, the damage of a time, he battles through and pulls the spectre off. Miracle with a double kill now, and he's gonna go for more than triple for your void. Give him the ultra. Miracle, the one man faceless void show now. It's Enigma looking to close this one out. Three heroes with no buyback on five men. Phoenix and Puck with so much left to do. Yeah, I believe this is game, Gary. Phoenix Void with the lacquer, he has enough to actually go for the throne. Still ages up and running for 40 seconds. Only two heroes alive. And the back is flying back. Is he gonna buy boots to travel? Yeah, he's gonna buy boots to travel. He sold his pipe, full pipe, and now coming back just to give some extra damage. Oh yeah, let's go kill Jesse. Chase him now. Because tier fours. Onto the throne we go. Buy back from America, uh, from Wii as well. Trying to TP out to the outpost and sprint into this mid lane. They need to finish this game. Repair is there and Chessie with a double kill. DH gone. Faceless Void gonna get called up now. Dragon back into the fountain. They've got Magnus and Void with Invoker arriving soon. Meteor Hammer is about to land, but he time walks away from it. Still focusing the throne, hitting the building. Repair kit, repair kit, keeping five in the game with a blink call. Catches both the blade mail. Oh, Void is still alive. He got a satanic off just in time. Sans up with the Dream Call snap. But the throne is falling. That is game. GG is called Enigma. Tying things up 1 1 in this series. That was almost a 2 0 loss for them, though. Game three draft all done and dusted. Lacoste. Oh, the cask bottom. They catch him mid dive. Misery can't escape now. He's been tapped by the Maledict. First. And Miracle's playing with it. We see yes, uh, while they're keeping Zeus. Uh, bye bye, Pilo Die. To really shut Ace out of this match. Because Wii's arrival with a Stormhammer stun, catching out Ace with really no better to run. He's got. And now Pilai die. Oh, gets the ward denied under his nose. Something that like pause fight. Oh, jumping up top. Trying to find that we wipe mid as well. RMN with GH gonna get closed off here by Jesse. Great Sprout blocks them out, and RMN is gonna be a double kill for Jesse. Looking for the triple. Can they finish off GH? There's no help from Sven or Magnus. And Ace Spectre is gonna close the gap with a dagger for the final hit from Jesse. Triple. To get the triple. You know, you're not doing it correctly because you need to be greedy. Oh, telekinesis into Sandstorm. Jesse hit by the Maledict and dropping low, but the turnaround play from Zippin. You know, global presence. He doesn't even have Oh, this time the Sand King doesn't escape. They even... So it comes. Five men. 
Sam King with a horn to scout, and the TP forward finds the Viper. We turn to the run of Aethos, down to half HP already. They're kind of stuck in this at storm, and the Snow is there, and no one can touch it. The Viper is being annihilated by this Sam King, and they've got a bonus kill as well. All the way off to the right hand side, they've taken down Pylite Dying, but the Sven needs help. He's got damage, but he doesn't have control. Now trapped inside the Sprout, he's being burnt down by the Sun Ray. Pops out his hand of Midas onto one of the treants, but Miracle's in a spot of bother here. He's gonna try and turn and nearly kills off Jesse, to be fair. Dodging the shock wave, well played by the Prophet. Very, out of man. very good position in the trees here. We'll keep the Sandstorm going. And potentially Nigma think about the dive. There it is. The Blink RP. Can't check the Sand King. They need the chain stuns and my goodness, do they have them? Uh, it wasn't a freebie top. Oh, the GH was, I don't know, a fraction of a second away from denying it. Right click. Was it very close as Misery gets hit by the Rod of Atos, but Chessy with Ace. They both arrive with a hold of the TP. There's global presence onto Wii. The Viper. See ya, buddy. And now the Invis room for mind control, but he's dusted up. They still do see him. Trying to track back behind the tier one tower. Skewer and they the revealed it. Skewer's back, but Ace is taken with him. And gets the double kill as five men. Now the beacon even Chessy shown off. Something are a man as they that come into the It It is. Very good, powerful move by Ace, picking up the Aegis, and they've already killed off the Ace. Good start onto the Sand King. Onto the Sven from the Sand King, but he turns with his God Strength, whacks into Zebe and clears him up. The bug is down. A Spectre on the retreat. The BKB God Strength of Sven is a sight to behold. Uh, still trying to catch up to her, but Ace is pretty speedy in the Shadow Amulet there, revealed by the dust. While I die, he's gonna get cleared up. Make his way into the trees. I don't think they saw all they did. If they dinged him, they know where he is. So the skewer there. And Chessie BKB is gonna get cancelled out by the RP. They're coming in with the damage. The horns flying out. And in comes Ace looking to battle GH. Chessie's still alive. Cut it through the trees. He's dusted. He's running. He's sprinting away. Miracle will finally claim his life, but Ace is going wild on to me. And it's the Agonim Scepter for Miracle. Gets him on top of the Spectre. Pops the Gold Strength and takes her out of the fight. What take men? What have they got left? Well, Sam King's been chopped into pieces. Slain away he stands. And the Maladies on the Ace will make short sure work of the Spectre. There's no Supernova, no Zeus. Try lane. Where they safeguarded his farm from the very get-go. And they jump and skewer. Misery gets caught out. Does he have a chance to die? He's walled up. The Death Ward's out. And the Supernova's forced. Storm Hammer, the Wall Man's done. Beautiful. Ravage from Zibbe. In comes the Prophet, but he has a BKB. So he is all stunned up. Now he turns it. Into that Storm Hammer. They go over the RP from Mind Control. Just as gorgeous as the Baron's drop. Making a triple kill. Comes through the Miracle. And in they go. They want the Rampage. They want the team wipe. They give it to Miracle. Come on, Ace. Where is it? There's no Aegis over in the roast, but you can't go pick that up from game two. He's not there anymore. No, you can't. Run of a toss, in comes Sven, and the rampage comes. He's, he's, he's on the offensive here. Look at him go. Who's he going to call? Oh, it's Hibbe, is it? Hello. Where's the reveal? Dust from my control. Thorough strike by a second of respite. He's going to have to BKB here, maybe, Miracle. It's the Haunt arriving. BKB turn and fight, and he blows up Misery. He's still alive. Same. Shot it. What do you want? Number X, do they have a reveal? Well, if you see him, he does finally die. And now the Death Ward down as they try and focus on Ace. The Spectre's in trouble, drag him back into the Nether Toxin. The pings come out, and Ace is deleted from the game. Yeah, they chased him a little bit. There was some good juking from the Sand King, but they've also found the Spectre. Our man and Mind Control trying to pair up together, but they've kind of cocked that one up. The Skewer takes him away from the Death Ward, and now the Haunt with Amanda style allows Ace a little bit of a retreat, but he's got pathing issues. He went low ground and back to high ground, and that's allowed Nigma to catch up again. Skew it back into the nether toxin, and that's him done. Dead maybe 10 minutes. At the moment, she's saving 4,000 gold. Nigma, not on your tier 3 towers. There's a pawn. Science well, that's not knocking Lacoste, that's a fast battering ram as Sven diving for the Zeus. Kills him off by the tier 4. The supernova's finished off. And every team fight ulti ability or whatever you've got for five men is just going down the drain. Nice done. Blink initiation. Sand King's in with the Thunder God's Wrath. But Sven just whacks him down into the grave and six feet under. Chessy goes TP forward, but Sven is still battling here. The skewer back in, and I think five men are just done. They can't fight into this. Spectre's chasing forward. Sand King wants a blink stun. He wants a Sven so badly, but Sven, he jumps to low ground with a storm hammer. And Zippe, he's stuck here now. 
Viper and Witch Doctor and the Sven, they've got other stun to come as the dust no is not there. No reveal. Zivik, two man stun, but it's not enough damage. They've got the Rod of Atos and there's Miracle continuing. Can they find all this here? Sentry place down. Sven wants to go for him. The Sand King gonna dodge it with a blink away and now Miracle. Where's his BKB? He pops it a little late. Half HP for the RP. There's Mind Control taking out Twilight Dies. Chessie does get hit by the big old Malady. Massive AoE circle. And Sven still holding onto Satanic. Gets hit by the Meteor Hammer though. In comes the Chain Stones. No! Zibig has lifted. GA saves the day. So now Miracle can turn and play Dota 2 as he'll cleave through Zibig and look for the Supernova now. The egg is gone and five men left. Available. Stranded with only two heroes alive. Skewer back. Chessie's profit. And this is all they have left. The only lonely Spectre. And I even she won't laugh. There it is. Double G's dropped in the old chat. Good performance. Good showing from Negma. I think what happened in game number one really affected five men and the way they played in game number three. Yeah, I get game two for sure. Definitely uh, an issue for their morale and stuff like that. As Nigma showing that they 